I got a story for you. Here are the true events from what happened when Jack Del Rio ended up suspending Mike Peterson after an outburst <laughs> during a team meeting. And should he probably have been suspended? Yes. But what actually happened was the wildest thing that I ever saw between a player and a coach in my time in the NFL. So let's set the scene. We are the Jacksonville Jaguars. We had been to the playoffs a couple of times prior to that, had had some success under Jack Del Rio, who got there the same year I got drafted in 2003. So now fast forward, some ups, some downs, all of this stuff. And at that point in time, we had just lost to Cincinnati 21 to 19. And in the beginning of the third quarter, we were down in this game 21 to 3. So let's set that scene. Mike Peterson was suspended for insubordination. Okay, so Jack Del Rio, he was a former player, guy who beat somebody up crossing the picket line. He was a linebacker, wasn't a little dude. So let's set this scene. He was bigger than Mike Peterson in terms of size. Mike, Mike Peterson was still a big guy. He's a middle linebacker, right? And middle linebackers in general, kind of crazy people, easy to set off. But Mike P, he was super cool, still fool with Mike P to this day. But what happened is Jack was inconsistent. This is just the truth. One day he'll be like, like this, everything is cool. Then another day, something else. Like for instance, we had uh, one year after we had had a good season, we put ping pong tables into the locker room and then they put outlets into the lockers. This is obviously common practice now. Uh, but then we went on a little losing streak. He wasn't happy, pulled the ping pong tables out turn off the power so you can't charge your phone or play music or anything else so players would get frustrated with the inconsistency so now my entire time while i was there in jacksonville after this cincinnati game jack did something that he never did not one single time he decided in the team meeting he was like listen i'm gonna point out all the reasons why we lost and he put up a little powerpoint first thing on the first page of it uh mike peterson was up first and he was like oh mike p doing something on a uh, play okay cool and then he says something about big john big john big john hey can you please not do this like like come on big big john mind you big john aka murdoch you go back to previous videos same guy getting slapped by the trainer joe joe sheehan that's Big John. Jack goes through a couple other names, and then he points out an incident where Mike P got a shoestring sack on Ryan Fitzpatrick, I think it was, and then he flexes. And he's like, we down 21 to three. What you getting up flexing after a sack? Mike P says, yo, I was trying to get some energy and you know, we didn't have anything going and I was trying to get something, something going. And then he says something to uh, Big John again. And then Big John had got kicked out of the game for trying to allegedly trying to gouge somebody in the in the eyes. So and then again, Jack softballs it with Big John, who's sitting down in front. So he, Big John is sitting real close to Jack. Mike P's about halfway, three fourths of the way up the team meeting room in the back. I'm sitting on my left side on, on the end, about halfway up where I always sat. So I'm sitting over here like, oh, OK, we're all kind of chuckling below stuff like bro is this dude serious right now this ain't what he would normally do and so big john hey we we can't do do that we can't have that big john and then comes mike p turn again and mike p bitching about something 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 mike p was like what you coming at me like like that mike p i said i don't want to hear a damn thing out of you well, well, why you ain't talk to Big John like that? You scared of Big John. Stop acting like a bitch and say something to Big John with that same energy. Man, Jack in his madness swole up and was like, he said something back to Mike P. Mike P said, I will beat your ass, Jack. And that's what happened. And then Mike P, the players around Mike P, the older guys, I think it was like Dion uh, Grant, and uh, Fred Taylor and all them, they kind of ushered him out like, Mike, 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 come on, Mike. So we knew that Mike P was going to be suspended at least for a second. But in that instance, Jack was, he's, he's the head coach. He wields the power. So, of course, he's going to make it look like it was insubordination. And yes, it was. But Mike P was right. Jack didn't come 
for Big John. Same guy getting slapped. Crazy man. With the same energy that he came with Mike P.S. So the question is, who was right, who was wrong in that situation? And what would you have done? Leave it in the comments.